Good morning, guys. It is good to be back from Baker Creek. We had a ton of fun seeing so many viewers and so many of our YouTubing friends. Let's see what's going on with all the animals. Been having bamboo and the twins stay here in our outdoor chicken run it is covered over there but rather than their house it's just easier to get them into at night while we still keep them in the yard what's going on bud I'm still getting used to calling this guy a guy and I don't know if you guys can tell on the blonde emus if you can keep them apart this one that's bigger right here is cashew and the smaller lighter one is peekaboo all right so we've got an exciting thing to do for the chickens today this grass has finally grown up tall enough look at this so right here on this side of the fence, we got no grass. Over here, we've got a huge jungle of grass. Isn't that right? Good morning. Good morning. All right, come on, buddy. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me, no. All right, and our meat birds, our Cornish Cross, our Murray's Big Red Broilers, they're now seven weeks old. So Cornish Cross only have one more week to go. We bought this little chick at the farm store and it was supposed to be Americana to replenish some of our Americana blood and it turned out not to be. It don't have a muff on it, so. I'm not sure what kind it is. I think it's a rooster though. Very spiky tail. So if you know what breed it is, let us know in the comments. And while the Cornish Cross are busy eating the feed, all of the Murray's big broilers out here are out on the grass. They don't even care about the feed. All right, now we're ready for the big job. Becky's over here already taking the fence down. So now we need to take it out of here, get the grass grown back over here and get the chickens over to this spot. This is gonna be fun. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. How could I ever let you go now when you're looking like that? Can't get enough of this. All right, well, we've got the yard all set up for the chickens, ducks, and turkeys. We measured it out, it's about 3,000 square feet, maybe just a little bit over, maybe 3,200. So it's time to get them out, see what they think of it. You get your high heels on. And we put a camera up here for the day, right up there. And so we'll get a cool time lapse to see them spreading out over all of this grass. Because look how tall it is. It's, it's like six to eight inches tall now. Like it? Maybe not. These guys haven't had grass in so long they don't know what to do or they don't know how to get off the dirt. Yeah, they're so used to their sold spot. All right, hon, what's the plan for the garden today? Oh, well, we need to plant some of these starts. Um, I've got some cabbage that I'm going to plant in here. Do you want to plant all tomatoes in the second raised bed? I think so. We Last year we put all of the tomatoes on this half. They kind of overtook everything, didn't they? They did. So it's just if we can... We can put the stuff that we had down there last year was like some watermelons and some... Carrots! Yay! Yeah. But if we have carrots, we're going to have to weed them. Yeah, and I'm going to... Like, I'm just going to pull them up and eat them. Yeah. 
You want a piece of lettuce? Please, are we done? No. I don't need too much of it. Let a little bit grow. Woo wee! Yeah. Nasty. Big one. You're gross. What are you gonna do with it? Give it to your rice so you can give it to the chicken. Alright. Juicy This is the juicy one. Go ahead. Hold well on. I'm over here by the chicken run where we planted last year our green beans. I just replanted some gourds that we had last year and cucumbers. They did amazing over here too. So I just replanted those over here and I realized I was all out of my vining green beans. But I've got some bush beans and some red bean, red kidney beans and some yellow eyed beans. I'm gonna plant them right here and see how they do right here. show you something hey guys so somebody told us about this thing where you can rub the emu's head so I think it's if I rub on top of their head and then watch her eyes she kind of or he he doesn't seem to like it because it takes over let's see <laughs> I see it hang on I'm just filming this way no he's not a fan I'll have to keep working on that. See if I can find the sweet spot on his head where he likes to be rubbed, where like a cat purrs. Bamboo, no. Bamboo, do you hate us? Are you attacking us? That's attached, girl. Or boy. That's attached, boy. We gotta beat bamboo, come on. Hey, what's up with cashew? To wash away the pain. The devil spread on my name. But the touch from the All right, we got some mail to open, guys. All right, we've got seven letters to open, six bigger packages, and then we'll show you what the chickens did in the chicken yard today. Michael from North Carolina, thank you so much for this tribute to Tin Man. We really appreciate it. AJ from Cincinnati, Ohio, thank you so much for your picture of bamboo, Yay. for our logo, and for telling us about all of your chickens and show animals. Good luck with them. Thank you to Frankie for sending a picture of bamboo, saying, stop it, bamboo! Bamboo's eating an apple. Or... Sam from Wisconsin, thank you so much for this really good drawing of bamboo, that's awesome. Very cute picture of Bryson with one of his button quail and did a lovely sketch of bamboo. Thank you so much, Bryson. We got a few drawings. It didn't have a, didn't say who it was signed from. It didn't say where it was from, but thank you for your drawing of Dove and then a wonderful drawing of Summer, one of our old roosters that is no longer with us. So thank you so much to whoever drew those for us. These pictures are from Dane from Delaware and he said he's a chicken photographer. So we'll put his Instagram right there on the screen. Some really beautiful birds. Nice job, Dane. All right, that's all the letters. Now let's open the big stuff. All right, one of our viewers, Jay and Tier from Australia sent us some baby outfits and some drafts. 
Jay, I'm really disappointed that you don't have any emus on these outfits. I'm just kidding. I really love them, Jay. Thank you so much. And Jay's always very kind to us in his messages. Thank you so much, guys. So Kaya, one of our viewers from Australia, sent a picture of her ducks, sent us a little sketch of some bamboo, sign for bamboo. And then also a cool emu crossing sign because, because they say in Australia there are wild emus, so we need road signs to stop them from being run over. We thought you might need one for your driveway. Too true. We also got two emu bookmarks. How cool. Sean from Florida painted us this amazing mural of Becky and of Isaiah from the birth video. Oh gosh, he's eating them. All right, Sean, I think bamboo will be okay. I think he just ate some of your uh, wrapping paper that you put in there. So thank you so much for this painting, Sean. And he made it really easy for me to share his Instagram. And he got a bunch of balloons from Sean. He says he's a balloon guy also. Yeah, that's the balloon. Show off your big balloon. I like blow there. Giovanna from Canada did a painting for us of bamboo and the blonde emus. Also asked us their genders, which they're both female, their names, which is cashew and peekaboo, and their height, which is probably about a foot, foot and a half tall, and their weight, which is a decent amount, and, <laughs> and their age, which is about six weeks old right now. Thank you so much for your thought and for your mail, Giovanna. Sandy from Utah had a sign commissioned for us. It says White House on the Hill and even has some hooks. It says Emu family lives here. Pretty cool. Thank you so much, Sandy, for having that made for us. All right, it's time for the big package. I'm going to have Becky help me here. How's Isaiah doing? He's doing great. All right, so this package is from Amber and Leslie in Washington. Eli, look at that. A Spider-Man stuffed animal guy. The penguin? Ow. What's that? Oh, it's a venom. How's it? How does it look on me? She can wear it. Oh, it's an egg. An egg, egg collector. How cool. Egg. You didn't see this. This might be your Mother's Day gift, <laughs> Becky. Another one says for Becky. Little rabbit. All right, this last one says baby box. Little octopus. Oh, oh look at this. Oh. An hey, outfit. Look how, look how big mine is. A hat and a little sleeper. You want to try any of that on Isaiah real quick? There you go. He's so cute. So cute. Yes. And then look at all these goodies. So thank you so much to Miss Crochet Nerdy on Instagram, Stuffed Animals and More on Facebook, and then we'll put the link to their Etsy store down in the description. Say thank you for the balloons. Thank you, thank you for the balloons. Oh my gosh, guys, we totally forgot about this other one. We had a white tube here. We totally forgot about it. Let's see what's in it. Juliana from Pennsylvania. Picture says, emus are amusing. Sent us a picture of some of her parakeets. Picture of bamboo from Theo. Welcome to the emu house thank you so much juliana we really appreciate we'll it be sure to get that over into the emu house if you'd like to send us anything else our p.o box is down in the description all right obviously bamboo doesn't hate us she's not mad at us she just picks on us sometimes you know you're just like a little kid or a really big bird looking kid so i'm going to close it out with what the chickens did today we've got a camera right up there today so i hope you enjoy that thank you so much for watching guys we will see you next time say bye bamboo